hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the uh, second module of scm what are the topics present and uh, what are the key points you need to keep in mind so uh, let's get started the topics are the follows what is uh, strategic outsourcing and the need of strategic sourcing after about uh, learning about the strategic outsourcing and the sourcing you need to know the benefits of outsourcing and the examples and the risk okay and that was the first part after that you have the make and uh, buy make versus buy approach then we have the business process and the explain the various factors and parameters in uh, market versus hierarchy explain the uh, make versus buy continuum and portfolio approach after that we have the uh, supplier uh, selection and negotiation then the three topics world class uh, supply base uh, supplier development and world sites uh, worldwide sourcing so we'll be discussing each of these topics uh, so um, what are the key points you need to keep in mind what are the diagrams so uh, how do you uh, remember those things so that things we'll be discussing so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this okay so let's get started yeah, and this video if you can find in the link there is a uh, there is in the uh, description box there is a link called 6m in that uh, the file is there super folder in that you will find this uh, pdf and you have to open this pdf in a separate device i'll be referring this one and the textbook can be found in um, folder 18 me 653 okay so here the module um, two notes you have to open so the page numbers are also written so you can uh, refer those page numbers and get to know the concepts fine so see here what i'll be telling you i'll be making it uh, clear uh, clear before only this is not my elective so i will I'll, i don't have any knowledge regarding whatever the topics are mentioned here I'll be telling you how to uh, get the information regarding these topics and based on that you have to do the uh, research on your own okay so uh, if it was my elective I would have explained in a uh, in-depth explanation regarding uh, all the topics okay but uh, it's not my elective I cannot do that right so uh, let's get started uh, with the first one which is uh, strategic sourcing outsourcing so here what you need to uh, keep in mind is what is the meaning of uh, strategic sourcing so the thing is the uh, way in which the information is gathered from different uh, points of uh, time and then you will be using that information to uh, handle the supply chain okay so that is known as strategic sourcing here some key points are available you can go through it why do we need uh, strategic sourcing is the second question in that uh, here some key points are there like increased level of cost savings better element means whatever the uh, advantages and the benefits you write for uh, the things uh, like uh, what is better for the the same thing you'll be writing here as well okay so if you go through it once you'll get to know then outsourcing benefits examples what is outsourcing uh, how to means sell the products outside your um, domain those are the things are known as uh, outsourcing and a uh, few informations are given like the examples benefits and costs of and the roles of outsourcing so it's a very simple topic you can um, spend 5 to 10 minutes for this one you easily get to know the key points okay then uh, make wishes by the strategic approach so first thing you go take a notebook and keep it with you in that you will be noting down these topics okay so search make versus by what is it mean what is what is the strategic approach basic point you need to know okay because when the time is limited you need to know the uh, what it means okay based on that you have to explain it in your own words okay so uh, if, if you feel this hard you can watch some video one or two minute video where you can uh, search this topic what is the strategic approach and make versus by there you will get to know what is what does this actual topic mean by the name you can understand make versus by means how much you are making and how much you are buying i guess i'm not sure regarding that but i think it something higher something has related to that but if you want uh, more information regarding this you have to do some sacrifice fine so get to know that it's better than just uh, going through all this and the time is very limited you will not be able to complete the syllabus also you don't have the previous papers also right so it will be very hard for you this is the only way left uh, what you can do right so some factors are there make sure you at least to keep in mind five factors then we have identifying the uh, core process so identifying the uh, core process we have to explain the business process and the architecture uh, route okay so what is the business process and architecture route the information can be found here you can go through it okay this is the pro product architecture route just uh, mention a few key points regarding it here's the diagram and this is the strategic uh, outsourcing process so you have to go through it and keep this in mind next market versus hierarchy explain the various factors and parameters in market versus, market versus hierarchy what is the market and what is the hierarchy what is the relation between these two those things you have to keep in mind just mention some theory regarding that and what are the factors are the economies of the sale the first one in that also there are some subtopics if they ask explicitly regarding the economics of the sale you have to write that one next one is agency cost like that you can find many transaction cost inside that the subtopics also there so note down some subtopics and keep those in mind okay like a story wise you can keep the, uh, those in mind Next we have the uh, make versus buy continuum. What is make versus buy continuum and what are the factors or the two positions are there trapped, uh, tapered integration and collaborative uh, relationship. Those things you have to keep in mind. Okay. So 
yeah that's all what is there in the uh, make versus buy continuum sourcing strategy explain the portfolio approach this is the portfolio approach which you will be uh, learning about what is the port portfolio approach that you have to uh, first write in the theory part and um, what are the factors it depends upon like uh, if this is low and low what will happen if it is this high and this low what are these things happen just uh, keep those points in our that's your second key point and after that we have the uh, routine product leverage products okay so many uh, subtopics are there you have to go through it and get to know what are those concepts then we have the reconfiguration of the supply base okay explain the uh, supply base uh, reconfiguration and uh, customer uh, princi basic principles of negotiation so here we have some things like uh, what is this main topic reconfiguration okay supplier selection and negotiation okay the next topic is this one okay supplier uh, selection contract negotiation two topics are the supplier selection and contract negotiation what is supplier selection what is contract neg uh, negotiation in this some concepts are there in this some concepts are there okay so, uh, so that you have to know so here some concepts are there regarding the supplier selection and basic principles of negotiation negotiation principles are given here you have to go through it and keep some in mind next one is the world class supply base what do you mean by world class supply base what are the uh, core elements of the effort uh, to get into the uh, states include these things okay so keep those in mind real world results and supplier development how does the uh, development of the supplier happen based on what factors and what is the role of supply development chain success these two key points you have to write worldwide uh, sourcing so worldwide sourcing you have these uh, few points here you have to go through it what does worldwide sourcing mean and um, what are the advantages and the applications of it so basically this is all what is there in the module 2 spend like uh, i'll uh, hardly uh, take you around uh, 45 minutes to cover, cover this module so make some notes that will be helpful uh, helpful for you note down the topic and um, uh, write the key points so that you can explain to your own words during exam so yeah that's all uh, what is there in the module 2 and if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support will make uh, more videos like this thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one